Let me tell you a story. A story of how a volunteer who was prepared to stand up for what's right made a real difference to the lives of older people. That volunteer is John Kilner, a leading light in Abbeyfield's Newcastle Society. Now as Abbeyfield's chief exec, I travel all around the country and meet many extraordinary people who give their time to our charity. Five years ago, John Kilner and his fellow trustees became seriously worried about how little their city council were prepared to pay for older people's care. The reality was that the going rate often wasn't enough to cover costs of a charity like Abbeyfield. In fact, John spoke to other care providers in Newcastle and many of them had similar stories. A picture emerged where negotiations with the council over care rates were getting stickier and stickier. I myself have heard many cases where councils have used their dominant position to exert pressure on providers. As a result, care organisations up and down the UK have taken judicial review cases against their local authorities and excellent organisations like Care England have done much to highlight the problem. But John Kilner could see that judicial review didn't really change anything, whereas a quantum merit claim certainly would. And he was right. I won't go into all the legal ins and outs, but this more exacting legal process paid off by ensuring that a new test was introduced, whereby councils would establish a reasonable rate for providing residential care and then set the amount they paid their care partners accordingly. The situation had got out of hand and it took someone like John Kilner to make a stand. Things won't change overnight, but this landmark judgment means that care providers like you can be more confident in their negotiations with councils. This has already paid off for the older people who live with Abbeyfield in Newcastle and for our charity generally. Now we need to get the message out there so that care providers pick up on this new case, negotiate fair rates with their councils and reap the rewards for the older people that live with them. Our thanks go to Care England for helping us spread the word. If we all work together, I strongly believe that we can make sure that older people in the UK get the excellent care they deserve.